So today we're going to talk about exponent. Okay. What is exponent and why we need to learn about exponent? Okay. When you multiply or divide with the bigger number, it's become the difficult for us. So exponent is the form of writing the number to solve the bigger problem in a fast way. Suppose what happened here, I have written a number 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 okay times 2. It's take this much space to write this one but if you see what's happening here 2 is getting multiplied many times. How many times? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 times. So what's happening? 2 is getting multiplied how many times? Five times. So this five. one is called exponent. E x p o n e n t. Okay, exponent, or people also call it index. What is that? Index. And this two, that is getting the number that is getting multiplied is called base. And how many times is getting multiplied is called exponent. Understand? Simply, you can say two to the power of. 5. Understand? 2 to the power of 5. Understand everybody? How to read it? 2 to the power of 5. Suppose what happened here now? If I have a variable that is a getting multiplied times a times a times a dot 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 times a and I say that a is getting multiplied how many times? N terms. I think. Come on, what's happening to you? I'm gonna write little beautiful. What does that mean? How many times I have A here? A is multi multiplying N times. Understand? Because I give dot 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 so we don't know how many times. So suppose I say how many times? N times. So what is the base here? What is getting multiplied? A is get, getting multiplied. So base is base is A. How many times is getting multiplied? N times. So A to the power of N. Where, where N is exponent. Okay or index and a is base base yes so writing any number or any given multi number that is getting multiplied into the form of a to the power n is called exponentiation or where if this is n is exponent or index a is base understand everybody okay now let's i'm going to write some exponential number and you have to tell me the base and exponent okay uh, let me write here the number we have to find base and exponent and we also need to write in the form of multiplication form form what does that mean I will explain you now I'm getting better on this right before I write so big now I can control the pen before I cannot okay suppose I gave you here 2 to the power of 4 next I gave you 3 to the power of 4 and 
give you minus 3 to the power of 2 okay and maybe I put in the parenthesis and give you 1 over 3 to the power of 3 and the last one I give you a to the power of n okay let's write the base what is the base here everyone give me the answer what is the base two base is two, two. what is the exponent four four write into multiplication form means multiply how many times two four times two times, times two times if I need to find value also suppose I have one more column here for the value V A L U value 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 understand now 3 to the power of 4 base is 3 3 exponent is 4 4 and multiply 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81. Understand? Next, yes. minus 3 to the power 2. What is the base here? What is the base here, everybody? Minus 3. Minus 3, because number is, uh, power is on minus 3. Understand? So, we are going to write here. Yes. Minus 3. 3. Exponent is 2. 2. Multiplication form is minus 3 times minus 3. Minus minus, minus times minus is plus. I will teach you about numbers, then you will learn minus minus plus minus. Okay. Now we have minus and minus. When you multiply minus and minus, they become plus. And times 3 times 3, 9. So the value is 9. Next, 1 over 3 to the power 3. What is the base? 1 over, one over 3. Exponent 3. Now, multiplication form is 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 times 1 over 3. When we multiply fraction, what happens? Numerator will multiply with numerator. 1 times 1 is 1. Again times 1 is 1. Denominator multiply 3 times 3. 9 times 3, 27. Understand? Last one. What is the base here? Base is A. What is the a. exponent? N. This is N. Multiplication form? A times A. A. A times A times we don't know times A. Okay? Dot, Same dot. here. We don't know so we can write A times A times dot 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 times a okay that is the value if I give you the last one here suppose I have minus 3 to the power of 2 what is the base here minus 3 no base is not minus 3 power is only uh, on two. yes I'll explain you how power is only on 3 you see if you see this one right and this one oh. in this case I put minus 3 into the parenthesis everybody can see right if minus 3 is in parenthesis and has power 2 it means power 2 is on minus also understand and 3 also but in this case no parenthesis so power 2 is only on where only on 3 3 not on minus so base is 3 base is 3 Come on, what's happening to you? So the base is 3 and what is the exponent? 2. So now when you write into multiplication form, minus is not having power. So we will write minus outside and then 3 times 3. What is the answer? Minus is outside. 3 times 3 is 9. So did you see what is the difference? If you have minus 3 in parenthesis power 2, 
the answer become positive 9 and if it's minus is not having exponent that answer is minus 9 let's have an example here they say what numbers do the following what numbers do the following exponential numbers represent and you MBER numbers represent this is N my handwriting is sometimes hard to read Let's have first one or A. They say six to the power of three. B. They said one to the power of five. C. They said minus five to the power of three. D minus 5 to the power of 2 E minus 5 to the power of 3 you have to find the values of all these 5 let's see I'm gonna do you have to check okay 6 to the power of 3 how to read this one 6 is to six the power 6 times 6 times 6 yes but how to read this 6 to the power of 3 or you can read 6 is to the power of 3 3 so what is the base here 6 what six. is the exponent here 3 3 it means 6 will multiply 3 times ok let's do 6 times 6 times 6 how much is that 6 times 6 is 36 36 times 6 is 216. 1 to the power of 5. Base is 1, exponent is 5. It means 1 will multiply times 5 times. 3, 4, and 1. 1 will multiply with 5, 6, 7, 7 times, 8 times. Doesn't matter. Answer will be always 1. 1. So 1 has any exponent. 1 has any exponent, it will be always 1 except 0. If you have 1 to the power of 0, it will be also 1. I will explain yeah. that one later. Now, minus 5 to the power of 3. This one, what is the base here? Minus 5. Yes, minus 5 is the base, exponent is 3. So, minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5. Don't worry. First you multiply the number. 5 times 5, 25. Times 5, 125. So, so first you write 125. Now multiply sign. Minus time minus plus. Now we got plus time minus in minus. I will explain you the multiplication of negative number, positive number <laughs> later on. Now here what is the base? What is the base here? 5 5 not minus 5 because it's not have parenthesis so minus will be outside then 5 will multiply how many times 2 times 2 minus 5 times 5 is 25 this one base is 5 not minus 5 minus is outside then 5 times 5 times 5 what is that minus 125 let's have we're gonna have one more here suppose I have f 
minus 5 to the power of 2. In this case, base is minus 5, so minus 5 times minus 5. That is minus times minus plus and 25. Understand? Now here I am going to explain you this one when I will teach you integers, I will teach you in detail. Look at here, multiplication of sign. If you have plus times plus, okay, it will be plus. If you have minus times minus, it will be always plus. If you have plus times minus, it will be minus. And if you multiply minus times plus, it will be minus. What did you see? If you see this one, if both sign when you multiply two numbers and both have positive positive, answer will be positive. If you have both have negative negative, answer will be also positive. It means if both sign are same, that answer will be positive. If they are different and they multiply, answer will be negative. Look at here. In this case, minus 5, right? Minus 5 times minus 5. Both are negative numbers, right? So minus times minus, here look at your minus times minus is plus. So plus 25 or just you can write 25. Understand? Now in this case, here you see minus 5 times minus 5. This one from here to here, what it gives you? Positive. Then positive times negative, positive times negative is negative. That's why negative 125. Everyone understand? Yes. Yeah. Good.